Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we are going to learn this machine drawing. We will copy ditto same. So first what we should do? We should start with axis line. After that 20 plus 65, 85. So from bottom, we'll go up by 85, we'll mark 20, and then we'll mark 65. Now we'll draw radius 30 and radius 20. See this, radius 30, now we'll draw radius 20, that is diameter 40. After that, if you see this is 15 and 12.5, so you take 15 on left side and 12.5 on the right side and you draw a vertical line. Then you draw one random horizontal line. And see this radius 55. So from bottom you go up by 55 see this from bottom you go up by 55 it will come here and from that point you draw radius 55 now this length 20 so that I can draw so this much portion is done the right hand side part Now this is radius 10. So what I need to do, I need to draw parallel line. See I'll take 10 from here. I will take 10 from here. Whenever you have a corner like this, you draw square. So we are drawing square of 10, 10 side each. And from that center we can draw quarter circle. We can draw parallel line also, but since it is straight, we can directly use scale and we can draw. Then this 17.5. So for that, from this 12.5 line, you go 17.5. You take 17.5 on the right hand side and you draw parallel line. That means vertical line and from center, from where you have taken 30, from there you take 30 plus 17.5. So it is 47.5. Since it is external, right? We need to add. So from this circle, we cut 47.5. And from 12.5, we take 17.5 parallel line, wherever it will cut. From that point, we can draw radius 17.5. See this. So we took parallel line and circle plus addition like 30 plus 17.5. Now here we have to take 15. So again, we'll take 15 parallel line from 15. And that radius 15 is merging with radius 30, right? So 30 plus 15, 45. So 
so we'll take 45 and from here we'll cut 45 wherever it will cut from that point we can draw radius 15 see this so we are done with radius 15 now what we need to do we need to draw that radius 7 if you see on the left hand side corner this I will show you how to identify exact center exact arc so join center to center like this you will know exact point from where your arc is going to start now this radius 7 so 15 plus 7 external and 55 minus 7 internal right 55 minus 7 and from here 15 plus 7 because it is external Fifty five minus seven. So from here we'll cut fifty five minus seven. So that would be forty eight. And from here fifteen plus seven. That is twenty two. So from here we'll cut twenty two. Wherever they intersect, from that point we'll draw radius seven. Now one more circle is remaining, this we can draw dark, radius 55. Now if you see, diameter 15 is remaining, so that we can take 7.5, the radius 7.5 and we can draw. and we can do dimensioning see I'm drawing center line so in exam you have to read the question if they will ask you to do dimensioning you have to do dimensioning if they don't mention then don't do dimensioning but minimum 4 to 6 dimension you should do thank you